This is the best time of year to be in the garden, absolutely the best. As the harvest is starting to come off the, off the, the, the soil, it just doesn't get any better than this. So these are the potatoes that we planted multiple months ago. I think it was probably the end of April that we planted the potatoes this year. Sometimes it's a little bit earlier, sometimes it's a little bit later, just depends on what the weather's like. But they've had plenty of time to grow. They're kind of starting to die down and uh, that's kind of normal. When it's harvest season, the plants kind of die down on their own. But the fun part is digging them up to see what we can find inside. So I'm just gonna move my soaker hose over just a little bit and we're gonna use this fork. Now this is, uh, I think this is our huckleberry gold variety. And the huckleberry gold is a purple potato with a golden inside. So I'm just gonna use my digging fork and we're gonna pull that up. Oh, yep, I can see some potatoes in there already. Yeah, see nice, nice dark purple potatoes. Let's see how many we can find in there. Oh, yep, there's more. Usually when you plant a piece of potato, you end up getting about, oh, sometimes multiple pounds, but usually, usually gets you know somewhere between two and and uh, five pounds of potatoes off of each hill. There's there's another one, so we got about five five potatoes off of there. Like a little bit more production. That was kind of a smaller plant. Let's do another one just in case. We'll move that soaker hose. We'll see if we've got a few more under here. Then we'll try our other variety, our Viking, and see if there's there's more underneath the Vikings. Oh, a lot more potatoes here. Yeah, look at that. Yep, a little bit more productive plants, so. Got a nice, nice harvest there on the Huckleberry Gold. The Huckleberry Gold. Yeah, there we go. Two hills. I'm gonna produce three or four pounds of potatoes for us. Oh, there's multiple more. Yeah, that's more like it. Soil's nice and loose, so this is like perfect for digging. So we got enough potatoes for a meal there. Let's see what the, let's see what the Viking look like. And the Viking are also purple on the outside, but they're white on the inside. And uh, they're really tasty. I like the Vikings a lot. And they look like Easter eggs. So they're purple, but they have a little bit of modeling to them. So some really interesting looks to those potatoes. So we're gonna get quite a few Viking off this one plant. Yeah, three, three nice big potatoes. Here, let's dig one more just for fun. See if there's a little bit more underneath there. Yep, another nice big potato. Yeah, larger potatoes, not as many, but a lot bigger potatoes on the Viking. Oh, and we speared one. Dang it, we're gonna have to eat that one tonight. So gotta be careful when you're digging so you don't spear them. But what we found is when we're storing the potatoes, you want them to be in perfect condition. Any scuffs or scrapes on the potatoes, they won't keep as well. So. When I was a kid, I think dad would be digging up the potatoes and he'd spear some on purpose because then that meant he had to eat them. And so that was, that was always a, a terrible thing, but not really a bad thing at all. So speared one of those, but nice production on the, on the Viking potatoes. So two hills of potatoes on the Viking, probably gonna produce, oh, about five pounds between those uh, seven or eight potatoes. And on our, Huckleberry Gold, about the same, probably close to like three or four pounds of potatoes. And uh, they're gonna be delicious in, uh, in my cooker. I'll show you what they look like on the inside. Huckleberry Gold, kind of a golden color on the inside. And the Viking, very similar, but more of a white color on the inside almost almost white compared to the inside of that huckleberry gold so best time of year when it's time to get out and dig the potatoes and enjoy the harvest and all that work has really has really turned out to be productive